Whatever Wednesday first uh, in one so besides Lou Boudreau, which player in sports history had the most success as both a player and then later as a coach? What was that about Boudreau? He said besides Lou Boudreau. Which besides player? Lou yeah. Boudreau. Uh, who had the the uh, most success? You think as a player then coach? You mean a manager? Yeah. Um. Joe Torrey comes to mind immediately. He was a uh, fantastic hitter. Started off as a catcher with the Braves, later once of the Cardinals, won the batting crown uh, as a first baseman. Played a little third base, too. But obviously uh, winning four or five world championships as he did. Uh, other managers that were great players. Torrey comes to mind immediately. Obviously not Weaver, not Waldo Ralston, not Sparky Anderson, uh, not Terry Francona. Terry was a good, <laughs> solid major, but he wasn't a great player. Uh, sorry, Kato. No. <laughs> um, gosh, that's a yeah, good that's question, that's though. I'm sure you'll more. And, no, Boudreaux, and yeah. Boudreaux was a player manager, and that's a great point that you preface your question with. But Torrey... I think has got to be the one, uh, obviously, because Don Manningly was a great player who never won a world championship, but uh, obviously hasn't been to the World Series as the manager of the Dodgers either. So I, I have to say Torrey is an no-brainer there.